bippity boppity boop. Hi. What is going on, my beautiful rebellion? It is your tiny rebellious leader, I Club Rebel, and welcome back to the magical wizarding game of Hogwarts Legacy. I accidentally hit my mic stand. My bad. So, where we last left off, we actually now have two vivariums in our um, room of requirement, and we can now actually capture. That sounds really mean, but that's the only word I can think of right now. Capture magical beasts, you know, for the greater good. We're saving them from poachers and stuff, you know, because poachers suck. <laughs> we now have that. Um, and we found out some tragic news about Deke's friend, um, Tobbs. I, I knew his name. I don't know why I was hesitating. I will say this. With that mission, I went to bed the next, uh, that night last night and i was really scared <laughs> like i kept i kept closing my eyes and all i could see was the acromantula and i was like ah, i hate being alive <laughs> i really hated it like i have arachnophobia i admit okay um but in real life i've already stated this but i'll say it again but like in real life if i see a, a spider you know they're they're tiny right you know the ones that i've seen throughout my life you know um I'll be freaking out on the inside, but on the outside, I'm kind of calm. Kind of. Um, as long as the spider stays within my sight as I am killing it, we're good. Um, I know that, like, you know, it has a purpose in life. But, um, its purpose is to die once it enters my house. Yeah. I will say... <laughs> But the game has made it way more intense. Anytime now I go into a cave, I'm like, I don't want there to be a spider, I swear to God. You guys saw a weak side of me last episode. <laughs> I was trying very hard not to scream or curse really loudly because there are other people that live in the house that I live in. And I didn't want them to hear me scream. Shit! Because <laughs> I got scared. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, but this episode is also kind of, or, uh, hopefully gonna be a good episode because we're going to astronomy class! Yes! And once again, I have dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing kind of like a star galaxy top. It actually is a dress, but I've rolled it up really high to make it shorts. Watch, look. Hold on, look. It's supposed to be a dress. Watch. I'm gonna make it a dress. It's a dress, but because I it looks weird because I'm wearing pants. We're gonna roll it back up again Bam, it's a shirt now Nice Yeah, uh, hopefully this astronomy class is actually really fun because Throughout my educational times. I have taken astronomy class twice one time in my sophomore year of high school, and one as a college course during my freshman year of college. Because, you know, um, the degree I'm taking, I need science credit. It's, uh, for those curious, it's just general studies. Because I don't know what I want to do with my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost! <laughs> Anyways, enough chit-chat! Look at my earrings! Earring. It's cool. Anyways, enough chit-chat. Let's get started with the game. Okay, made it to the Great Hall, and we're gonna... Oh my god, I love it so much! That's so cool! It's so spooky! Hell yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is... Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, everybody's... Cool, there's people. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, we're here in the Great Hall because I wanted to do something really quick before we actually go to astronomy class, and that is go and talk to our boy Sebastian, who's over here with Ominous, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, I thought I'd do this really quick. I don't know why I blanked real hard. Let's go. Anything to do with the dark. Oh, oh did you saw us? It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I won't give up. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> no! You don't see me! You, well, you can't... 
can't see anything, but you get the point. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, were you, were you guys just like talking about, like, this is no slight to Slytherins, but like, <laughs> the worst founder in the, <laughs> in, in the history of Hogwarts? Stop following me! Purge defending Hogsmeade against Trill. You know, there is such thing as trying too hard. My god, you. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Uh. Look, I. W me and him, we ain't exactly on the best of terms considering our first encounter. He, like, held me up. He, he helped me at one point and was basically saying, You better not fucking say a word or else I'm gonna make you disappear if you catch my drift. Literally. I. <laughs> Literally, I hate that. I don't like how that was our first interaction. We could have been friends. But we're not, and I hate that. Speaking of which, because I am. Um, I, I do actually, because I did a, um, a piece of art based off of that scene. And I made a, I made a TikTok of it. I have that scene memorized. Hello, Hello Sebastian. Sebastian. Wait. Wait. You, you then. I can, I can hear you. you. Oh, oh, hello. hello. Oh, Honest, wasn't it? it? I, I believe we have potions, potions together. And herbology? herbology? I recognize that voice. I heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions, potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's, that room's called, called the Undercroft. The Undercroft. Ah, well, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in, in a strange passage. Don't lie to me! No, no one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not, not even your precious, precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Yeah, so I might have those lines memorized. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Anywho, he's back to the topic at hand. You were talking about, like I previously stated, one of the worst, like, founders of Hogwarts, Salazar Slytherin. You know, the dude that made the Chamber of Secrets. The dude that hates Muggleborns and possibly Half-Bloods because they're all not pure bloods. Who wanted to keep the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry students all pure bloods? That Salazar Slytherin! My god. Aw, oh, he's angry. We have little angry Sebastian over here. You do angry fella. Okay, let's talk to him. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was oh. used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. I'm sorry, did you just say that like Salazar Slytherin has another secret room? Lovely! Oh, that's wonderful! Okay! I am thriving! That's so much fun! Ah. That's great! Oh no! Okay, um, all the answers we need. Uh, dark arts dangerous. I'm curious about the dark arts. Oh, God. I'm on the fence about answering. Because here's the thing. I'm very fat. I, I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, dark arts. It sounds fascinating. And it's extra thrilling because it's forbidden. But also, I do know that they are insanely dangerous. And not to exactly be tampered with. So I want to answer as both. Being like, yeah, the dark arts are dangerous. But I'm also very interested I don't know, man, but I'm gonna answer. I'm curious about the dark arts. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. Mm -hmm. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Wait, are you talking about like the Gaunts as in the direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin? Like, 
Tom Riddle, Lord Va- Oh no, Ominous is related to Voldemort! I didn't connect the dots until now. Oh my god! Dude, are you for real? Oh, that's tragic. That's so- oh, That's so sad, dude. Perhaps it's going to- Uh, yeah, I think. Like, yeah, no, you shouldn't exactly be, like, spilling personal details about someone else's family history. If, if it's personal, you know, so you don't have to tell- like, I understand. <sighs> like, yeah, no, I understand, and you don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. Oh if I were you, I'd be begging for more details. Well, it's not like I don't want to know. I just want to respect personal space and boundaries. And, you know, personal details. <sighs> but for the sake of curiosity, I'm going to say it. It's not that I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Oh. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Yeah, Crucio. Known as the torturing curse, known as like if you get cast, if someone casts it, that said person, the, the, the person that is, is on the receiving end of Crucio gets in excruciating pain and is, you know, could potentially just damage you for the rest of your life. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse, also known as the torture yeah. curse inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Mm -hmm. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Oh, that's... Ornus described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to. But he still hasn't forgiven himself. But he had no choice. He was a child. And that's messed up. Making a child cast Crucio? My god. These pure blood families are insane. What? Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Oh god. That's so messed up. Yeah, he had no choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. Yes. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. Aww. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. Are you sure about I'll that? I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Ugh, this is... this is... That's adorable. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Are you sure about that? Like, the one interaction I've had with him, I'm pretty sure he's... Oh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Never talked to him personally. Well, have talked to him personally. That was once, and he was pretty mean. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. That well, That's so messed up with, the ki with him as a kid dealing with that. Like, damn. That's so messed up. I'm so sorry, buddy. I have sympathy for you. All right, we made it. Two astronomy. Ooh. What's that? Who that? Nice. We made it to astronomy class. I'm so excited. I'm very stoked. I can't believe there's like a nighttime class. That's really cool. Post a deadline for... Oh, thank you. I feel very... Oh, you were closer in those last few words. This is exciting. This is really exciting. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Oh, that's cute. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Ladies. Professor Shah. 
Astronomy is not divination. Yeah. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. <laughs> Alas, so the heavens divinity. remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Wait, I don't have a telescope. Guys, I don't have a telescope. What do I do? Oh, is Still that Gareth? You don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. I... You can share with Mr. Takar. Oh. Hi. Hi, me. Here, I can adjust that. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh. bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> I like him. He's enthusiastic. He's, he's, he's very enthusiastic. Oh, wait, oh. Now, I expect Sorry. all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Professor, it's freezing out. Shut up, Leander. Mere cold didn't <laughs> stop the great stargazers of the past. Yeah. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. <laughs> Is that clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> just dying of cold. Dismissed. <laughs> Hello. Huh? I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. Oh, I'm yeah. something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. I think we did. I, I hear think I Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope. Yeah. I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, that'd be awesome. But I think I do remember you in potions. You were scolding Gareth when I helped him with the fluper feather thing. He's like, Gareth, not again. I remember because I'm editing that video right now. I actually, I think I already did. Yeah, I finished it just recently. So yeah, I remember, I remember you. Yeah, I've heard your name come up a couple, a couple times, but thank you. This is nice. Thank That's you. very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure meat. you won't need it? Meat? Meat. I'm certain. It's my old one. Oh. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Oh, thank God. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Oh, thank well, you. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. Okay. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you very much, Gareth. I mean... I mean... <laughs> God! My stargazing as long as I could. Oh, look good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? What? Quit whining. Quip! The constellations are beautiful. Ooh. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Amen to that. Why do you think part of my brand is spit? Space. Okay, glitch in the matrix. That's fine. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. A lot of stuff, considering that tea leaves is more or less predictions. <clears throat> tea leaves are predictions. What we're doing is astronomy, aka science. So there's a difference. Also, I don't like you. Hop. Professor Shaw is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I just started hopping on the Leander Slander train. Collect. This Ooh. was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Wow. What this? It's a dragon. Is it like the? Let me test something. Oh, my theory worked. Good job, me. I figured something out. I... 
a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Yeah. Well, kind of pristine. It's it's cloudy, which kind of prevents you from looking at some stuff, but. Hi, Amit. I got you. Perfect night. Oh, hello again. Yeah, hi. Owl! Look at it, it's a little baby! It's a little baby! I love it. That's... God, that's so cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. Yeah, very nice. I would not offer very, a prospective nice. stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? Yeah. It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. Mm. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yes! And you'd like him finding it? Yes. And you need someone to help you find it. Yes. I do. Are you in? Yes, no absolutely. No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well... They are cowards. Wouldn't this be better? Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Cool. This is exciting. Yeah, it sounds exciting. You need to convince me. Let's get going. Let's go. Brilliant. You won't regret it. I, I Shall won't. we? I'm sure I won't. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. I, guys, I love space, okay? Bias. It's a bias opinion. Okay. Where are we going, buddy? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. Okay. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say Thank the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Okay. Interesting. Where we go? Where we going, dude? Uh, it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Yeah, Happy yeah. to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Where are we going? It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Yeah. It's here not that I creepy. am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Say uh, you're not a coward. Okay. It's fine. I understand. I'm scared of spiders. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm sorry. Was that? Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Oh, hello. Pavilion. There's a tub in the in a jail cell. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is extremely important. And also, uh, Depulso. Also, didn't I just say a line that's in like the character creation screen when you like mess around with the voice pitch? You cobwebs and dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I swear to God, if there are spiders here, I'm gonna cry. Spider webs! How promising! That wasn't really anything. Revelia. See any goods? No, but More there's cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? No. It's oh, too small no. of a space. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Look, there's a table. This close to school. Oh, God. I think God. you should do the honors. Go on. Try it out. Okay. Yeah, no, spiders are not going to show up in the school. Hopefully. Oh. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Okay. Point telescope. W and S to zoom. A and D to rotate. That looks like the big star. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me zoom in a bit more. Okay. There we go, I did it! Lyra! Oh, nice! Nice, nice! I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. Mm -hmm. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. 
I look forward to that. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. Nice. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. Oh, That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. Really? It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. See ya. Thank you for that. That was very nice. That was fun! A nice little adventure with no scary monsters and stuff. It was great. <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Where? Where? Is this it? Up right I there? I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. I oh, wait. you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? No, we'll do that next time, probably. I want to do more stuff first. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I quickly need to... Yeah. So first things first, I forgot to mention, I have finished these assignments. So let's quickly go and learn all these spells real quick before we continue. <laughs> you know, I've re... <laughs> I actually want to talk about this. Like, I, I was, I was like thinking back to um my my like school life, like elementary through high school, um, and kind of making comparisons of you know that my education life and and this game because what are we like 15? 15, we start school uh, like fifteen years old in this game. You know, fifth year. I think that's like sophomore year for me. Um, and I was comparing this. What's happening in this game to my sophomore year? Obviously, there's not like magical stuff happening, but like social life and my social life was not exactly the greatest. Actually, during my sophomore year at the beginning, I was in an extremely toxic friend group um, at this time because, you know, uh, the year before I had zero, f I had almost like zero friends. I went to an extremely small college preparatory school and actually I still live near it right now. <laughs> um, it wasn't exactly the greatest, so to speak. And I really just was miserable throughout my time over there. It was like a fine arts kind of school. And everybody was trying so hard to be different that they ended up being the same. Which really sucks. But yeah, I was in an extremely toxic friend group. That like, they literally made fun of me because at the time, I, I wasn't, you know, asexual. So I was heterosexual. And I got made fun of for that. Yeah, not exactly the greatest thing. So to speak, I literally got made of, made fun of for being straight. So even like before the semester was over, so be before even winter break, I had cut ties with them and the rest of the year was even more miserable. I just realized, um, my school years from elementary to kindergarten, social life ain't that fun. I don't think I even had like a single real friend during my years <laughs> which is really sad so I, so it's really nice you know being able to like live vicariously through uh, the main character here in this game being like oh you know finally i actually have friends and people that show interest in me and stuff like that but it's also very bittersweet because in real life that never happened to me <laughs> because in real life these people would not want to be my friend because at that time at age 15 i was a mess I was way more hyper, way more impulsive. Still me, but imagine cranking it up to 11. I at least in my eyes. I don't know. Uh, it was it was just bad. But enough en enough of like revealing some of my tragic backstory. Let's 
Let's continue with the freaking game. Okay, we made it to the greenhouse, and I am thriving. This is awesome. I love it. Okay, any whoosies. Uh, right? I think I saw... Where is she? Uh, that's a good point, me. Why was I just randomly running in a direction? Yeah, Professor Garlic Design. Yeah, it was in the dir- Yeah, when I looked at the map, I saw it was this way. Okay, cool, I was correct. Hi! Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I love where your head's at. Yes! I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Aww, now, ready to learn flippendo? Yes. Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Yes, ma'am. You will want to focus with this spell. Okay, Nothing focus. is mortifying as knocking focus. back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. What? Sorry, I was I was totally focused. I'm <laughs> joking. I was trying to make a bit. Like, yes, I am focusing. <laughs> oh, pretty butterfly. <laughs> I did it! Cool! Wonderfully done! Yay! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Yes, absolutely. Cool! We got a new spell! That's so exciting. There's a lot of cacti here. Uh, the knockback jinx, Flipendo, like Akio, is a force spell capable of dispelling violet shield charms by flipping targets upside down. Cool. Hold on, I want to actually talk about something. So, so, so when Professor Garlic was talking about like, oh, maybe like, what was it, a bouncing tentacular? I was like, now I gotta talk about something. Hear me out. Venomous tentacular and a mantric. I don't know if that's actually possible, but consider the idea. Not only does it chomp, like kind of bite, it screams, and I think that's awesome. <laughs> I, I've been like, thinking about it recently, and I'm just like, you know what would be great? If I went down in Hogwarts history as the most feral Hufflepuff. <laughs> like, just imagine. Like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm like, you know, it's, it's like, I want people to, to, like, warn others of me being like, oh, no, you better watch out, dude. She's crazy. And they're like, what? She's just a tiny, defenseless Hufflepuff. You know? Like, what is she gonna do? You know? And then they, like, like, they, like, make fun, they, like, bully me or something. Like, they, <laughs> they, like, call me names or something. Like, they call me stupid or ignorant or something. <laughs> and then they hear in passing conversation, like, some really weird fact that is kind of related to something deadly. Because I know facts about poisons because I went through a hyperfixation learning about poisons. <laughs> Don't judge me. And they hear a fact like that and then they turn around and they see me looking dead at them. And, and, they, see, and they see me and... <laughs> and... Do they want to test and see if I do have the resources to those things? See if I'm bluffing? No, they don't. I want a part of me also wants rumors to be spread that like, yeah, it's like she's she's growing like some some hybrid scary plants in the hidden herbology corridor, but no one dares go down there because it's dangerous. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I'm really nice until you double cross me or my family or friends, and then we have a problem. <laughs> Moving past from that weird thing, um, <laughs> let's let's um, let's go see Madame Kagawa. Ooh, can I burn these? And a secret? No. 
I was thinking. Welcome back. Hi. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, I have. But I'm gonna A just more. unlock this chest real quick. Here we go. I'm gonna steal some of your stuff while you're right here. Don't judge me. What is it? Boo! Okay, whatever. That's fine. Hi! I totally wasn't just going through your locked chest that was right behind you. Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Yes. Well done. Shows good discipline. Thank you. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Thanks. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Oh. Precise, cool. deliberate movements. That's actually a extremely interesting fact, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, alright, let's situate ourselves. Let's go! Bam! Up, down, all around. Bring it around town. Bam. We did it. Cool. Oh, look. Let me guess, I use it on that. Oh, a rest of momentum slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effective the spell will have on it. Cool. Very Weird. good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Nah, but wait, wait there's more option on dialogue. Wait, I want to talk to her. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? <laughs> what is it? You mentioned the Toyohashi Quidditch team. In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Don yeah. Known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. Wow. And I would have been a Tengu if not for a bit of bad luck. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. We all need a bit of luck. Wow. There. I. Why? We. Really? Poor key games, Warner Brothers, if you're watching this, hear me out. We need to expand. We need to go past Hogwarts. We hear names of all these really cool wizarding schools, but I want to see them. I want to see how it works. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Uh, let's expand upon the world. Okay, we all need a bit of luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Oh, I hate mm. that. And some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. Oh. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. Wow. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. Right. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. Mm. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as trials for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. What? That's... Wow, that's intense. That that's intense. Also, being a keeper is fun. If I was ever gonna be on Quidditch, I would want to be a keeper. But no, my God! Liquid luck. That's illegal. That isn't is. It? it is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well, and Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards. She admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. Oh, but no. it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. Wow. 
I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played with the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Wow. Tell them what she'd done. Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank Thanks. you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep. That's kind of deep, but I love how we're getting backstories on professors here. That's really... Wow! I pressed what? ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. All right, let's go! Forget Professor Sharp's assignment. Let's go! We don't care about that. Let's go! <laughs> Who cares about school when we have Sebastian Sallow? Hate it. Ah! Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, that's cool. I remember, um... Yeah, fun fact about me. I also did fencing. And then COVID happened. And that no longer was a thing. Oh, there's rats. I can hear them. Nice. Is this the entrance? Sebastian! Hello! Can I come in? I want to see what it's like inside. Please. Whatever, let's wait. I guess. Oh You're hi. Here. Brilliant. Hey, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I literally decided schoolwork ain't important. You are. <laughs> I received your owl. Yeah. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately. Only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. Poor you. idea. I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Ugh. This is probably this a way. bad idea, considering the fact- Once again! Our last interaction was not that great. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. That has stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. <laughs> we were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. I swear to God, sometimes me... We're, we're, we're on the same page. We share the same brain cell. And that's great. Probably because she is me. <sighs> okay, sorry. Sorry, I was talking to the voices in my head. But I, I look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just startled how like I've been able to say the same lines as my character. There he is. Good luck. Thank you. I'll need it. Can can we do like a handshake? Maybe that's more luck. Oh no, I'm nervous, dude. What are you doing here? Nothing! I was just, just going on a walk, you know, I like to explore, you know, it was looking at this, all the tapestries around the school, and you know, I was just wanting to see what you've done with the place. I love it here. It's so cool. Very dark and damp, moldy. You know, nothing, nothing like the Hufflepuff uh, common room, which is a lot more light, uh, less mold and rats. But yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, hi, what's up, dude? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Nothing. I owe you an apology, Ominous. Yeah. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. Sorry, man. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Mm. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? Ugh. He told you about that. Yeah. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. 
Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Mm. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. Mm. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Fascinating. I, I like your aunt, but oh boy, I think she might be dead, I think. Theory, I think she did find it and just died. Well, found the entrance and died. Don't know how, I, I think maybe in her efforts to find the entrance, she died. That's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. Damn. I'm so, well, I'm sorry about your family. I understand what it's like. Uh, both of these, again, there, there would, there are, these are both questions that I would ask. But, no, I understand your caution. This is dangerous. This is dangerous stuff. Dark magic is dangerous, but also... It, uh, Sebastian would say this anyways. This could provide answers. This could provide answers. For all of us. It could be beneficial for all of us. That is a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. Um, I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, mm. get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Yeah, your see. aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. Maybe she died see because she did it here. alone. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Oh, Very well. Wow. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Cool. I hope I... we don't regret this. I think we Sebastian, can do it. Sebastian, over here. Hey. The glaciers <laughs> grant access to the scriptorium. Yeah, dude. Now you'll share? Yeah. You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Okay. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well... Three heads are better than one. It's two heads. It's two heads are better than one. Wait, let me guess. Three is better magic, than two. Three is better than two. <laughs> Simple mathematics, ominous. No way! No! How did I guess? Rebellion may help. How? 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 That's amazing! My god! I'm psychic! Dude! <laughs> you two are idiots, by the way. Wingus and Dingus over up. here. Let me just see if that shit works. Bam! Where's the end? Oh, whoosh. I hope we're ready for this. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Ladies first. Dark, ominous corridors. No. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. It was, but I hate you for saying that. <laughs> That's... Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Are you... Wait, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? Well, all right. I love escape rooms. Deadly, deadly escape rooms. I did once for, I did an escape room once for my uh, 19th birthday. Uh, I'm fine doing another one. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there is more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows I how I accessed the corridor's entrance and that there is no straight path to reach the scriptorium. 
It's a maze with many challenges to solve. Damn it. Okay. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Nice. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. Yeah, no duh. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? I didn't tell me. Well, Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. It is. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Yeah. That's really strange, but look at you. You didn't know anything. Lol. There may be something to this pile of rubble. Yeah, watch this. Reparo. <laughs> the rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. What's that sound? That must be the voice I hear. <gasps> no way. A parcel mouth? <gasps> no way! No! Dude, that's so cool! Well, obviously it makes sense because he's a direct descendant of uh, Salazar Slytherin. But that's still... That's still so cool! That's awesome! The voice is ancient. Sinister. Yes, but you can... You... you you hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. Oh. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. Ooh. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. Yeah. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. Yes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. And I'll break that stigma. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm yeah. hoping you're having second thoughts. <sighs> Let's put on a brave face. Not at all. We can do this. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. It's okay, dude. Stand back. It's okay. Right. I can't believe I'm doing this. Right. It worked. Ominous, you possess a rare ability That's indeed. So cool. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us. I never mind. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, are you Is he There's no clear way forward? Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. I still get jealous. <laughs> Are you jealous? Or no. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Are you kidding me? Then look closely at each gate for clues. Are you kidding me right now? What? I'm sorry. Let's take let's take a pause. Before we progress, you envious that both of us possess some rare abilities? The brazier. Lol. When the door closed, it lit up. Yeah. Weird. Wait, there's this door, and there's. Odd. I'm gonna cast Lumos. Lumos. There's another one. Okay, weird. Find anything good? Found anything of interest? Cool, let's use some- Confringo! Slytherin lock. Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these brazers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through, not to a god. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Yeah, it sounds unwelcoming. Poor Aunt Noctua. This so it sounds extremely unwelcoming. The dial requires focus. What? Aunt Noctua said the same. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait! If I can find it quickly. Yes! It worked! I- 
I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Thank you. Well, Lumos. You are so funny. You are. You are extremely funny. You know that. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each coin. It may not be obvious which leads where. I'll read that in a second, because that's four out of five, and I'd rather read them in order. There's another one. But I don't... Let's see, what else? I don't think that opens this gate, but let's see what this one does. Half moon and an infinity snake. Let's do it. Half moon, infinity snake, infinity snake. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. You guys are so Another strong. dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Oh. Thank you. Lumos. Thanks, man. That means a lot coming from you. Thanks. Money. I need it. I'm broke. Uh, another one. Another Bring one. Up. Swear to God, those two are like Wingus and Dingus over here. I love it. I failed the dial and struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there is more to our legacy than meets the eye, not to what god. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Wait. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Lumos. That's a door. I think, okay, yeah. Theory time. I think I know what that lock is, but first... Let me read that. You know what? Let's read it. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. That doesn't sound fun. Uh, I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it, Noctua God. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, Ugh. but also rewards. Ugh. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. Me too. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. I don't see you doing anything, boy. Triangle thingy with a fish, I guess. It looks like a fish. You know, it has the tail fin. Ah, oh, painful? I haven't really dealt with any pain yet. But if apparently this thing strikes you like a Another, real serpent. Not the welcoming sword, was it? There we go. Oh, it's the Triforce. Cool. Uh, Painful. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the Scriptorium. This doesn't sound promising whatsoever, and I'm not okay. Lumos. I'm with our boy Ominous here. It suddenly feels a couple degrees. I spotted colder. something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Are you looking at your? You have a pocket watch? What? Oh, that's cool! Okay. Uh, if we have to fight something in here, I swear. Oh. That's not promising. This. Gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Are you kidding me? this don't tell me that's oh god I feel sick you guys heard that too right I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Oh, shit. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Not to a gaunt. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. 
She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. Don't tell me it's... This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Uh... Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. Don't. It's going to be difficult. What? What do you mean, dude? What do you mean? Ominous, can I give you like a pat on the shoulder? I don't want to say hug because, you know, I want to respect personal boundaries first. But I'm still going to ask if I can, you know, give a consolidating. They're there. Mike. All right, sure. I guess we'll just die along with the corpse of his aunt. Wahoo! Who wants to? <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> oh boy! You said you know what to do. That's Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. Into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's no. why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. No. You seem to be in Ominous's no, that's favor. Not good. Will you ask him about this? No! No, this is a whore! Fine, I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. A I'll bit? With him. Good. A bit? Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Yeah, you don't want to know. Crucio, where? In the stone, where? Rebellion. <sighs> Ah, right there. Love, lovely, lovely. <laughs> ah, oh, okay, we're gonna die. Ah. Oh, this isn't fun. Oh God. Okay. Hey, buddy. So you know that thing you did when you were a kid that you didn't want to do. You might have to do it again. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. Yes. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what <laughs> happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Dude, I'm so sorry about what happened to you when you were a kid. I'm, I'm, I know what it's like to have really bad family. Mine is not as bad as yours, I'll admit. I'll admit. Still some pretty fucked up stuff though, but like. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, but on a humorous note, yeah, Sebastian's just a little blabbermouth, ain't he? Like, like with us, he's like, oh, I promise I'll keep your secret safe. Anyways, allow me to tell you the tragic backstory of my friend that I've known for like five years, which he probably doesn't want me talking about to anybody, and allow me to also show you this really secret place that only like three people know, including me, that I'm gonna show you that also this person probably wouldn't like to for other people to know about. I'm a good friend. Sebastian, you humor me in so many ways. You were so entertaining. Speaking of which, we gotta talk to him. That is extremely menacing, I'm not gonna lie. That is like really menacing and I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Like, ah, yes! Would love that. Sorry, I had to sit here for a second. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Fair Ridiculous. enough. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. It's... <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, 
or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure yeah. I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. You mean dead and a skeleton? I think I can skeleton? cast it if I have to. Oh, oh, lovely! We have options! Oh, that's awesome! We have options on how we can proceed! <laughs> okay. I like how, I like how there is... <laughs> I like I I like how there's absolutely not. I want to learn, but I don't want to cast it. And I want to learn, and I will cast it. So it's 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 absolute. It's no no. Yes no. Yes yes. This is tricky, cause like I. I don't like causing pain for others. So if I do it, I'm gonna feel insanely guilty. But also, I don't want to be on the receiving end either, considering the fact that it's extremely damaging and painful. I don't know what to do. I might just go with the second option. I want to learn it. Because it's interesting, and I just want to see the mechanics of the spell and how it works. But I don't want to cast it on somebody. So that, that's just... Oh. Then I'm going to have to... Oh. I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. I'm too much of a coward. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? You better not. I'm gonna keep bringing it up just like how I kicked your ass on the first day. Sorry, trying to lighten the mood. I'm scared, dude. You shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now. You shut up! Ready? I'm ready. I'm really scared. Oh, Yeah, I've been excru- I've been excruciate- I- <laughs> Cool. I've been excruciating pain and all you can ask is, Are you alright? Cool. Are you alright? That pain. Oh, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. Oh. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. <sighs> I can't believe we're here. Okay, I'm just gonna wake up. <laughs> No. Guys, I just realized Ominous heard that and I dude, I'm so sorry. Do you need a hug? I'm so sorry, man. Oh my god, he probably got some PT he probably got some like traumatic flashbacks. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, a secret and well-protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Cool. What's this? Slytherin's spell. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. Yeah. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I wander around a bit. Yeah, I... I... Yeah, of course. Still salty that you just asked me, are you alright? I know Ominous did, but... The difference between both of their are you alrights is... Ominous sounded way more concerned, and Sebastian's like, are you alright? Of course not! Let's look at all this stuff. Pick up. I fear she will... <laughs> Already off to a great start. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student need to, needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that muggle warrens are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. 
I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. Oh, shit. We're talking about the basilisk. Fun stuff! A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought. The one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that will serve only to stain my legacy. Motherfucker. Oh, what this? That's disgusting! It's probably like, that's, it's probably like, that's really gross. You don't know how long that's been there. No, I don't, but I got thirsty considering the fact that I, you know, got struck with the crew. I just realized. This has been emphasized several times so far, but whenever you use an unforgivable, you have to meet. Sebastian, are you mad at me? Dude, what were you? Homie, are you- You got something you want to discuss with me? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. Yes. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What yeah. will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. <laughs> Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. I already did. Your parents it's were... breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. With pleasure. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Yeah, dude, Without no, I want to leave. You, we'd never have made it this far. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we uh-huh. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yes! Oh, what the f- Absolutely. Uh, my intentions are not to do this again. Hopefully. But I have a feeling that it's gonna happen anyways. Oh, that's cool. I see He's... a way out. Best no. news I've heard all day. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, cool. Ominous. About your arms. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Yes. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I feel like you're lying. You're lying. You're I just suppose fun. after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, we feel fail? I'm sorry, dude. Really, I am. But also, I have a feeling that you're lying. Oh, we can just travel to the scriptorium with ease now. Cool. I will not let you live it down. Ever. That you used the Crucio on me. And the fact that I kicked trash on the first day. You ready? Potions. Potions time. Questions to Professor. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, I'm here. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts? Yes. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes. Everything went perfectly well, Professor. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Okay. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Uh -huh. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Okay. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Focus. Got it. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Wait, what were you saying? What was he saying? Paying attention? <laughs> I did it. Okay. Very good. Oh, thank you. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I do. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake and that of everyone else. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to you a bit more. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. 
Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask, like, you're an aura, right? Yeah, can I ask about your time as an aura? I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm. Observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a yeah, moment. Yeah, you leave it out in plain Spent sight, buddy. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Oh, whoa. Sounds dangerous. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though I've seen some remarkably creative concoctions. We're talking about in my Gareth. Past. We're talking about Gareth. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. Mm. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough. Trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. Scarborough Fair? I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken. And they knew we were coming. Ugh. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is of that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. Okay. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Yeah, that is really well said, honestly. Oh, cool. Level up. Yay. That's fun. Okay, that is all the time that we have for today. I. Wow! So much happened in this episode. What? What? <laughs> I'm so just shocked on the fact that we just got crucioed and then just walked it off almost like nothing happened. I think there's this thing called hot armor. Just saying. But like, wow. What? That ha- that. That's gonna- I, I'm gonna be thinking about that part for quite a while. Um. Okay, well, until next time, I think we're actually going to hold off on Professor Fig, and we're gonna go talk to Natty, maybe do some other side quests, because, you know, I kinda wanna get those out of the way a bit more. Um, yeah, that's mainly it. <laughs> um, so, until next time, this is your Tiny Rebellious Leader, signing off. <laughs>